to lift that trophy is a boyhood dream come true. I started playing as a 12 year old. I guess ever since that day I wanted to get my hands on it. It's hard to even remember or to describe how it feels when you actually lift it. He really has his mind set on that one. Yes. <laughs> uh, it's the same as the putt at the open, I think. <laughs> <laughs> How old was he here? I think he's 12 and a half. Just a happy childhood. A normal childhood. He has a lot of hopefully happy memories. Secure home, um, loving home, caring parents. And that he was fortunate enough to have parents that let him do what he wanted to do. Everyone has a story, a place, a moment where their journey begins. He played soccer and he played uh, land hockey and they played Indians and cowboys in the woods and such things. And then something happened when he was 11. It was uh, a friend of mine, he was one year younger than me and his family played golf and they were heading out to this little small family club. We asked uh, Henrik if he would like to come to the driving range. And he did, and uh, yeah, it was, he was caught by it from the first moment, basically. From the first day, he came home and said, I want to play golf. He was so uh, interested uh, to hitting the ball well. I whacked a couple of five irons, and I must have hit one or two out of the middle because it, it felt good, and I. I came home, I asked my parents for a golf club and they thought, yeah, let's, let's give him a golf club and, you know, give him two weeks. It might be something else that's of interest. But I came back, asked for more balls and more clubs. The determination and the amount of time he put out here on the golf club was yeah, quite special, really. When he came here, he more or less moved away from home. He was really uh, focused on being a good golfer. He was obsessed. I think that's my biggest contribution to world golf. <laughs> Sometimes to look back, you have to fast forward. Stenson's professional career has been one of immense success. There were wins all over the world. Henrik Stenson, the first Swede to win the Players' Championship. And just as the men's struggles. A series of injuries, and then he became a victim of a Ponzi scheme that literally lost him millions. Not surprisingly, he lost his game too. Dropping from fourth to 230th in the world golf rankings in 2012. It hasn't been a straight line, that's for sure, and I guess nothing in life is a, is a straight line. It's going to be ups and downs in life in general, and mine might have been having a few more bigger ones than some of the other guys. He was down very low, and he dropped at the ranking. Many big players that dips and get out stronger, and uh, the ones that not got out stronger, they stopped playing. That's hard on your mental ability, but I think that's also what's giving credit now. Because if you're able to push through that, that gives you enormous satisfaction and, and rewards in, in the end of it. Yet Stenson persevered through it all. In 2013, he would come back from those earlier struggles. How about that exclamation point? Capping off his best year to date, by winning twice during the FedEx Cup playoffs. What a performance by Henrik Stenson. Wins the Tour Championship and the FedEx Cup title. Guy that's picked himself up from the bottom. That's unbelievable to see where he's come today. When we came down here, he was 15 years, and his mom took him here every day after school. And he was here at the driving ranch and the putting green, 
bunkers for about five, six hours every day. He wasn't allowed to hit with the driver here because you have the course outside there. They put up a big fence there, you can see, so the ball wasn't go out on the course. As Stenson grew, so did his opportunities in golf. A family move a few hours south offered Henrik even more chances for his game to grow as well. He knew it's better courses, longer season, uh, more competition here, so uh, it was good for his golf. That's when I really started to compete and I got better and I made it into the national amateur team and then of course you will start traveling outside of Sweden and, and compete in, in different tournaments uh, all over the world. And while his scenery may have changed, his intense love of practice and almost obsession for perfecting his swing didn't. He was rather stubborn. He stood there for hours, hours. It doesn't matter if it was raining or storming, so what? The only thing I remember from that is when I was going in the car with my mom, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> I have a little perfectionist and I've always been a competitive person and if it wasn't golf I would have been competing in something else. He was lucky enough to find his true passion. I don't think when he started that he thought that he was going to be this great at it. And then it just kept on going. Stenson has come a long way from those early days in Sweden, alone on the range winning nearly 20 times combined on the PGA Tour and European Tour since 2001. He is the first golfer in history to win both season-ending points crowns in the same season. But coming into 2016, there was still one major hole in his resume. I had won some nice tournaments in Europe, I'd won some nice tournaments over here, FedEx Cup, Race to Dubai, World Cup, played on winning Ryder Cup team, so it, it was really one thing that was missing. At the 2016 Open Championship, Stenson held the 54-hole lead by one over tour legend Phil Mickelson. The duo put on a final round show for the ages. Stenson's 63 tied for the best round ever in a major championship. I knew it was going to be a challenge to go up against a player of his caliber, and then you know you've got to throw whatever you have you got to throw that at him, and, and I think that brings the best out of my game. Back in Sweden, for everyone that has lived Stenson's dream since he was a little boy, the first major win for a Swedish male, not surprisingly, brought out all kinds of emotions. Yeah, it was really, really fantastic and, and unreal. I get goosebumps right now. So. <laughs> that was the week before I was due to give him birth. When he got that final putt in, I screamed and I jumped so high that I thought that the baby was coming out. Everyone was excited about it. The final round was, uh, <laughs> you know, I had no nails. <laughs> Where we sit now, and here was about 60, 70 members. He made that approach shot on 18th. He didn't even look at it. I went to the bar and said champagne to the old uh, clubhouse, and we sat there crying together. It was so emotional, uh, as you can see now also. So, uh, well, of course I'm satisfied and I'm crying again. What makes a man? Is it where it all began? Or is it the places and people met along the way? For Henrik Stenson and his journey to golf's highest peak, it's certainly a bit of both. Neighbors who just happened to introduce him to a game he fell in love with. A family willing to embrace his passions. An inner drive strong enough to dream the impossible. For me, it was Certainly the icing on the cake, it feels like my career is pretty much complete, but I'm just not done yet, so I'll, I'll give another try to, to try and give that one some company.